Hello everyone. Welcome to yet another session of our podcast series and today I have an exciting guest with us. The guest that we have today is none other than Ms. Rama Devi Lanka who is the director for emerging technologies which is a flagship department of the government of Telangana and from where she is driving all the emerging tech innovations be it in AI, blockchain and a lot more. So today we have the privilege of hosting her in this show and we would like to understand what is that it takes to do this job and what excites her in the coming months. So welcome ma'am, welcome to the show. It's my pleasure to be here, thank you. So ma'am, before we get started, if we can understand uh, from you, uh, you know, what is that uh, your role and your department is doing and how uh, from the state of Telangana and from the emerging tech uh, department, what all things you are doing for the startup community, for the innovation community, for the innovators. And if you can just quickly give us an overview on those lines. Sure, Rahul. Uh, really happy to be part of this conversation today. Well, I had the emerging technologies wing in government of Telangana. And the reason that we have set up this wing is to actually leverage, you know, the frontier technologies. As you mentioned, AI, blockchain, drones. Uh, IOT, robotics and so on. This was a very, you know, visionary kind of decision or, uh, you know, uh, initiative taken up by the government of Telangana. So, uh, our idea is to actually position Hyderabad or Telangana as, you know, the front runner in these technologies. That was the primary idea, you know, when we started off. So, today if we look back, you know, this initiative have, uh, was started to be back in 2018 and today if we look back, we can proudly say that, you know, Telangana is a pioneer in the entire India in terms of these emerging technologies. And our role in emerging technology is to actually formulate, help government, you know, formulate policy frameworks in these technologies. Like each technology requires, you know, uh, different kind of initiatives by the government. If it's blockchain, it's a different set of, you know, areas or focus areas that the government will need. If it's AI, it's again different. So we identify those key pillars for each of these technologies and help the government, you know, to implement those focus areas. So we come out with policy frameworks for AI. So far, I think six frameworks we have actually, you know, uh, launched by the government. It's in uh, starting with a blockchain, AI, drones, uh, robotics, space technology, and so on. And uh, once we actually launch these uh, uh, frameworks, they're kind of strategy doc documents, kind of roadmaps. We set up center of excellences or COEs, you know, that help us execute this framework. One, and these centers are run by expert people from the industry. It's a combination again, you know, from the government, from the industry, from the ecosystem as well. Academia, so everything. academia, everything, yeah. yeah. Startups are also part awesome. of it. So formulation of policy documents, then setting up institution of excellence, and third, you know, uh, uh, putting up teams to execute that framework uh, within the COE. So then fourth, of course, is we focus on various pillars that each of these policy frameworks talk about in the documents. Yeah. Wonderful. Thanks, ma'am. Thanks for giving us this overview. We, being in Telangana, we understand the excellent work that you are doing. But the reason for asking this question was the wider audience of Pan India, they should also know the kind of work uh, Telangana has done and your department is doing. So, coming back to the next thing where entire India and entire Telangana is going crazy nowadays is about the Global AI Summit uh, that the government of Telangana has announced. So, what is that? Uh, and I understand like you are leading that initiative from the government side. So what is that uh, you are planning? What are your thoughts and vision about this? And if you can give some insights around Global AI Summit to our audiences. Uh, and I think this will help them to get excited to participate in more numbers. So if you can give some overview like what is this Global AI Summit all about? And how this idea came? And what you want to achieve by conducting this event? Sure, Rahul. Uh, as I said, you know, we started our initiatives way back in 2018, but with respect to AI, you know, we started, uh, kicked it off in the year of 2020. We said, year of 2020 would be the year of AI, you know. That's how the entire year we have actually been, uh, started focusing on AI, you know. And we later came up with uh, an AI framework. Uh, just like, as I said earlier mentioned that we come out with policy frameworks, we came out with an AI framework. Uh, that highlighted key pillars, you know, uh, related to AI again. We said we'll actually 
come out with data sets, set up a data exchange platform, and today we have set up a data exchange platform, you know, and uh, yeah, open data portal. Then again, we have agriculture data exchange platform where we are making available all the data sets from the government available on the platform, you know. So second, innovation is another one like which cuts across all this. So today under the Reva program, we have about 140 startups, you know, you are also aware of it, where different services are being offered, you know, for the startups. And this initiative was started in 2020, despite COVID, you know, I'm really happy to say that we have achieved, uh, you know, significant progress in this in initiative. Thirdly, beside, you know, we'll actually leverage this uh, technology, AI, for solving real world problems on the ground. Mm -hmm. And today we are working on number of projects, you know, more than around, um, I, uh, uh, I mean, put together everything I would say and emerging technologies, 50 plus projects, where they're solving problems such as, you know, reducing accidents and saving lives. Uh, and uh, if you look at another example, this we implemented for the forest department where actually you know, it's an AI tool that helps forest department officials to monitor uh, these species, you know, uh, that are becoming extinct, you know, where they are moving, their spatial temporal movements. And today it's like, you know, they have a tool in hand where they can monitor the entire forest is something. So, and another example to share is today our children, at, at least uh, in a few states in India, are consuming or being affected by this drug abuse, you know. So we actually are helping the uh, law enforcement department to implement an AI tool that uh, helps parents or teachers identify if a student or a child is consuming these drugs at an early stage and take proper intervention. So these kind of initiatives that we're doing are actually, you know, helping save lives, improve, you know, uh, mental wellness uh, in children and many social problems. So, and these kind of projects uh, can be replicated across India. And also we say, you know, if we solve for India, we are solving for the world. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. So, uh, how this thought of this Global AI Summit came? I understand you are solving all these things, but what was the motivation or, you know, the mission behind pulling everyone around the world uh, under one roof? So, what was the vision around yeah. that? In fact, you asked that question earlier. I didn't, yeah, that's true. I mean, we have built so much momentum on this around AI. We thought, and... Uh, like when I when we started off three years back, it was AI. Gen AI wasn't there. Now all of us are you know <laughs> sort of uh, what uh, like you know taken away by this Gen AI, right. and there are so many use cases around Gen AI that we want to explore. That's number one, and we want to actually continue this momentum that we have created you know in terms of AI space. Today, if you look at across India, you know people talk about Telangana, the initiatives that Telangana is doing in AI. So we want to actually continue that momentum and also see how Gen AI can be, you know, infused into our initiative. So we want to bring the best of experts from across the across the world, you know, right. to understand what's happening in Gen AI. What are the different initiatives? How do we fine tune our strategy again? AI strategy in the context of Gen AI. And, you know, get our, uh, uh, you know, ecosystem partners, get an exposure to the, you uh, know uh, what's happening across the world that's one second uh, we also want the entire world to s come and see what's happening in telangana in terms of ai right. get get a sense of it you know uh, the kind of problems that we are uh, you know um, uh, solving uh, the kind of startups that we have who are innovating you know uh, solutions products in this space and thirdly, interact with our ecosystem partners within the state of Telangana and within the state of India. And this one of its kind of initiative in, in India, I would say, you know, where we thought, you know, since we're working on use cases, I mean, everybody's talking about AI a lot, but we wanted to focus on actually uh, how this AI is being used, you know. So the overarching theme, what we thought was, it should be uh, making uh, AI work for everyone. So it could be a barber, you know, or it could be a person, a common man. Uh, does AI help his profession? Does it help him, you know, augment his capabilities? So that's so we want to experiment, I mean, showcase different uh, real world use cases that are happening to the entire world. So, Wonderful. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure that the participants will get to work on a lot of uh, problem statements that government on which you are working and the government is focused on. 
Yeah, that's one of the area that we are focusing in, which math is also working, right? Right. Uh, so it's a huge hackathon that we are planning, and you are aware of it. With tenth, uh, probably the first, the largest hackathon happening in India with ten thousand students and startups that we are looking at, and we are again, you know, looking at a number of use cases, both from the industry, from uh, you know the what you call from the government yeah. as well. and we want uh, i mean we are sharing these problem statements to the startups and the students to come out there solve those problems to us and it's an exciting phase you know we are looking forward to some very innovative solutions coming out of this hackathon uh, and looking forward uh, you know to math uh, to you and your team uh, to actually you know initiate and run this hackathon Sure, absolutely. So, uh, just for the audience, also in front of Ma'am Supravli, we can say that uh, Emerging Tech and the government has entrusted us to run this hackathon and the pitch event, uh, where the startups will come and present it in front of lot of investors. And we are also equally excited and waiting for the next steps to happen. And for our audience and all the listeners, the declaration, the announcements will come any time soon this week and the week after. Probably, you all will be. able to register for all these events that we are conducting but now i'm coming back to the thing that uh, when all this uh, people who are coming uh, be it a startup be it a corporate employee be it a student or uh, the other ecosystem partners what they can expect when they are coming to ai summit uh, if you can briefly say that what are the key things or the take away for them i know you mentioned that you want to showcase everything that telangana is doing but for the local ecosystem or the startups which are working in and around india what kind of opportunities uh, this summit will uh, bring for them yeah of course uh, you know we are bringing the best of uh, uh, everything to the summit so they'll get exposure to the best of the speakers you know uh, who are coming from across the globe for this summit we are very thankful to all the speakers who actually you know confirmed to participate in this event that's they are ecosystem partners would get to know what's happening across the globe you know in terms of ai and gen ai that's number one and it's a, it would be a great platform to collaborate to learn to exchange you know experiences and uh, all the initiatives that uh, we have been doing and we are all, we are also going to learn from you know others who are coming over here so that would be a great uh, uh, and of course networking you know because you are going to have the best of the people here it's a great opportunity for all of you you know please block your calendars for september 5th and 6th and make sure that you're going to be there you know for the summit it's going to be one of the best experiences that you're going to see in this year and uh, our idea is to actually you know have this uh, uh, event every year for the next 5 years so this would be kind of a template that we have actually creating you know for the first time right. uh, in india which will be replicated every year so uh, i request all the audience to you know make sure that you come to hyderabad and attend this summit and uh, you know gain out of it absolutely so one last question ma'am from you so we as math and uh, you know we are also one of the first center of excellence across india supported by uh, government of telangana government of india and all these bodies so what is your expectation from a center like us uh, two expectation i will say one from this ai summit perspective and another from a innovation perspective or startup uh, perspective so if you can share your final thoughts like what you expect uh, you know from any center like ours uh, to contribute in this kind of initiatives yeah uh, math uh, has been set up in partnership with department of science and technology right. and it's specifically focusing on ai so uh, and you have been uh, rightly doing so far you know organizing hackathons for startups and students and uh, you know make them develop or come out with innovative solution so that's one of uh, in the areas that you are already focusing on and i suggest you continue focus on that because sure. that's actually brings out solutions and you know so, uh, solutions we are looking at products and solutions so right. that's one uh, secondly uh, while initially we have set up this to focus on telangana startups right? right while that remains a primary focus but i also suggest let's actually get the best from across the country to the state you know so whatever services that we are offering to the telangana startups of course that's always our you know area of interest but let's expand a portfolio of companies to telang to other uh, beyond telangana other startups across the country and you know 
uh, uh, provide such services that tempted to move to Telangana. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think uh, that uh, line itself makes the road for making Hyderabad the AI capital for the country and for the world. So yeah, another thing that I want to mention here sure. is the government is also planning to set up an AI city, you know, right. in Hyderabad. So the area is also allocated for it. So we are planning to actually uh, bring the entire ecosystem, AI ecosystem uh, to this AI city. So uh, which our minister would be announcing during the AI summit. So. That's another thing. Uh, I mean, and there are many, pro, you know, MOUs, partnerships that are being signed or being yeah. announced during this uh, summit, which will actually again propel, you know, uh, Hyderabad's or Telangana's uh, initiatives further. And our, uh, as we were asking about our vision, our objectives, you know, right. our objective or the vision is to position Telangana as the, as you rightly said, as the AI capital of the country. Absolutely. And very soon, probably a capital for the world also. Absolutely. Right. So thank you, ma'am. Thanks for your time. I think this short and crisp conversation has given our audience and listeners a very good perspective of what AI uh, in, in Telangana is doing in AI, what the AI summit is about and what they can expect and your role and leadership uh, in this summit. So first of all, we wish you all the best for the AI summit. Yeah. We also thank you for giving us the opportunity for conducting these events during the AI summit. And we welcome all our listeners and uh, viewers to come forward, participate. And as uh, Madam has suggested, to come to Hyderabad, experience AI summit during 5th and 6th of September, 2024. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you all.